Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about Cypress and testing your React apps with uh, Cypress. So let's get into this. I just have a React app open here and I'm just going to open up a terminal in our bottom right here and we are going to add uh, a couple packages here. So I'm going to use yarn but feel free to use npm if you like. So I'm going to say yarn add uh, dash d because this is going to be uh, development and then we are going to say uh, Cypress like this and that's going to add Cypress and then we're going to want one other thing and that's going to be an ESLint plugin um, depending on your settings and everything you may not uh, need this but uh, I do so I'm going to add it and it'll just be like this so ESLint plugin Cypress like this so let's let this run and once that's done running, let's just start up our server here. So we can say yarn start like this. All right, now that is up and running. We can uh, close this for now. Now I've added uh, a form to our app.js in here. So if you come in here, you can see what I've added already. Um, it's just a very simple basic form. It uses uh, some use state right here. And then we're gonna have a submitted um, uh, state right here and we're gonna have an input and a button and when we submit the form uh, this is going to show the form submitted so very contrived but uh, we just want to do this um, so we have something to test and it'll have an input where you can set the state so this is a very basic type form uh, anyways we're gonna use this to uh, test so let's just show you right now what it looks like if I bring this over uh, very basic form I'll bump that up for you and if we type in here, we just say test. And if we submit it, we see the form has been submitted. So we're gonna test that this all works and everything. So let's go back here. So before we get into all of that, we just wanna add that ESLint into our ESLint config, which is right here. So we're just gonna come down below this, uh, do a comma here and put this in here. So plugin Cypress slash recommended. And that is the plugin that we added with Yarn earlier. So that is all the setup we have. So let's get into actually uh, running some tests. So in order to uh, start up Cypress, we can say uh, Yarn and we can say Cypress like this, and we can say uh, run or open just like that. So as you can see, it opens up a little um, Firefox window for uh, us right now. We can change that to Chrome or we can change it to Electron. Uh, it's fine right now, whatever you have it on. Uh, we'll go Electron right now. Um, so that is good. And then also you'll notice on the left here, we have this Cypress folder and this Cypress.json. If you look in here, this is empty. Uh, you can add some configuration in there. We're not gonna mess with it right now because it's gonna be a very uh, intro type um, video. So let's come into the Cypress here and you see we have these different folders. Um, we're gonna mo uh, mess with the integration folder mostly, but we're not gonna actually use any of these. So you can see, you can come in here uh, and if we uh, close down this for now, you can see this is a very basic spec. So it gives you a good idea of what the syntax might look like. So if you're running for this for the first time, it might be good to check these out for us. We're just gonna uh, get rid of these and we'll just delete them. Okay, so that is good. And we're gonna come in here. You can check all these different stuff out. You can create plugins, um, you can support files and stuff in here and uh, fixtures like this. You can see you can uh, add JSON or something if you wanna bring into your tests. Uh, that's a good place for that. For us, we're not gonna have any of that because this is again gonna be pretty basic. So let's come into our integration right here. And we're gonna, gonna say, uh, we can either add a new folder or you can just add a new file. So we're just gonna do a new file in here like this. And in here, we're just gonna call it uh, app.spec.js uh, like this. Now you can say app.test.js uh, also. I don't know why I like spec, but that is what I'm gonna use, .js like this. So we're gonna come in here and this is where we're gonna write all of our logic. So let's close that up and let's get into it. So we wanna test this form. Let's actually bring this up side by side so we see it here. So we wanna test that this has been submitted. So one thing I've added onto the submitted is this ID of submitted. So it's possible to get that by the ID there. 
Um, so let's come back over and start writing this out. So if you've done any testing with other frameworks or whatever, this might be somewhat familiar, but we're gonna come in and we're gonna do a describe block. block. So we're gonna say just describe like this, and then this is where you're gonna describe what um, this file is gonna do. So we're gonna say uh, form submission like this, and then we're gonna do a comma here, and we're gonna do an arrow function. And inside of this arrow function, we're gonna come down. Now, there's a bunch of different stuff if you wanna check out the docs um, that you're given with uh, Cypress automatically. One of those things is uh, this before each. So we're gonna say before each, and this is gonna run before each of the tests, basically. So we're gonna come in here, and we wanna visit uh, the actual website. So for us, we're going to say cy dot, I don't know why that auto corrects to crypto, but dot visit like this. And this is going to be the URL we want to visit. So we'll pass that in right here. And this is the URL that uh, is going to be running when we start our server up. So well, this is going to run before each of our tests. So we don't have to continually uh, write this every time. So let's actually do a test here. So we're gonna say it, and then you're gonna describe what it's gonna do. So for us, it's gonna say, uh, should submit the form. Okay, and that's gonna be again a comma, and then an arrow function. So very similar to the scribe block above. And then inside here, um, we're gonna use the command cy for everything. So we're gonna say cy.get, and that's gonna get a particular uh, element from the page. And we're just gonna come in and we're gonna say uh, text like this. Um, and that's gotta be in quotes. And if we come back here, we wanna get the text. So we're getting by the ID here. So that's the ID of text. So that's how we're gonna get that. And then inside that, you can actually uh, do something like this. So we're going to say type, and they'll actually type into the bo uh, text box for us. So we'll say that, and we'll say uh, test, just like this. And then on top of this, we can just um, either go CY, or we can... Um, so we can also chain together a bunch of different stuff. If we wanted to say uh, dot submit or whatever, you can also do that. So let's come down, and we're going to say uh, CY again dot get and we will say uh, the ID again of submitted like that and then here we can have a statement uh, like should so something should happen or should not be there or should be there we can say should and then again we can say not like this dot exist so for right now, because we haven't submitted this, we don't want this uh, submitted tag, which uh, the ID is right here. So this shouldn't be uh, available on the page. So it should not exist before we submit the form. So that is how we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna come down here and we can get the form by going like this. So cy.get again, and we'll just say form because we can get it by the form element. And we're gonna say submit like this and just call that. So now we should submit the form there, and then we're gonna come down here, and again, cy.get, and we're gonna get that uh, ID of submitted, and we're gonna say should, and then this time we want it to uh, exist. So prior to submitting, we don't want it to exist, which is this, then we're gonna submit the form, and then we want it to exist. So that is basically the full test we're gonna be running right now. So if we come back down here, now we already have our Cypress open. So every time we uh, save this file, this will update and run. So let's check it out. Okay, so you can see our test if we open it up like this, close this down so you get a little more room. And let's actually get rid of this also. So we can see that all our tests ran and they worked well. And you can see in here, uh, this was uh, submitted. So if I come up over here again, and I'll just bring this over to my other window for a sec, and I'll uh, save it so you can see it working in uh, real time. So let's save this. And you can see it fills it in really quick. You might've missed that, try again, just make sure you see it. And as form submitted, and that is how that works. Now, if we want to do the whole red-green thing, which is always a good idea, 
uh, we can come and say should uh, not exist here and see if that breaks things. You can see it working over here. It's working, it's working, and it breaks it. So that is uh, looking pretty good. So the other thing I just wanna show you real quick here is uh, you can use this here. So we can do a playground selector and we can go through and you can click on things and you can see how it says uh, the ID of text. So this will tell you, and if we click on it, it'll fill this out up here. Now let's bump this up just so you can see a little bit. So this is gonna allow you to get the different elements. So we click on this, we can get here, and then we can just use that um, to actually see what elements we wanna be able to get. So I think that is it for this video. Hopefully that gives you a little intro to uh, Cypress. The docs are good, so check them out. Um, there's obviously a million other things you can do, but hopefully this was uh, useful. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.